Hmm. Play some Minecraft, yeah. 1.13.2, sounds good. Whoa, what? <sighs> okay, I guess it's time to make a video. A lot has happened these past few years. If you go back about four years almost exactly, you have the first video that I've ever uploaded to my YouTube channel. Go back about seven years and eight months, and you have the first signs of the 404 challenge on the Minecraft forums. Today is a day to commemorate me reaching 404 subscribers, which is considerably more than when I started at about zero. In this video, I'm going to be revisiting the 404 challenge and talking a little bit about all of the stuff that's changed over the years, from when I first started making YouTube videos to even before that, when I first started playing Minecraft, and maybe even earlier than that, when I first learned about Minecraft and how it has changed a lot of stuff in my life. If you don't know what the 404 challenge is, if you're not that old of a Minecrafter, or you just didn't see it around the time that it became popular, basically, before the 1.8 update, which changed a ton of stuff with terrain, you had the 404 seed, or 404, which is what it actually is. Someone discovered on this seed, they have a patch of gravel near spawn that if you break it, updates it and the gravel will start to fall, leading you into this massive cave. From this, someone decided to create a challenge. Today, I'm going to be attempting that challenge. The rules are pretty simple. You have until nightfall to gather supplies. Spend your time wisely. Once night hits, you must venture into the hole, never to return to the surface again. You can gather any resource you find topside, but venturing into any other caves, for iron mostly, is not allowed. Sunlit caves are around. You must not break ground on the 404 gravel until you're ready to enter the cave. You're intended to be finding shelter for the first night, digging gravel and discovering the cave. That's sort of the lore around it. So once you break ground on the gravel, you must enter. Once you enter the cave, you must descend all the way to the bottom. The waterfall has swept you into the deepest parts of the cave. No torches. If you whine about why you can't use torches, just shut up. Real men use lava for light anyway. Redstone torches, jack-o'-lanterns, and flint and steel are all okay. Survive and thrive. Don't simply build a wall around yourself. Explore, build, progress. Your score will be based on what you accomplished, not simply how long you survived. Only mine ores that are visible. If you see an ore, you can mine it and the blocks around it to see if you've got all of it. No branch or strip mining allowed. You are spelunking slash surviving here, not at your 9 to 5 mining job. Difficulty must be either normal or hard. If you play on hard, you could get a 1.5 times score multiplier. One life. If you die, the challenge is over. Start a new 404 world if you want to try again. No inventory edits or cheating of any kind. Using F3 to see mob locations is considered cheating as well. So those are all the rules, pretty straightforward. Also, it should be noted if you guys would like to try this challenge for yourself, you're going to have to use the Minecraft launcher to create a profile for at least beta 1.7.3 before they drastically changed world generation. There are achievements that you can do in this, that will get you different points for doing different things. I'll have an image of them on screen so you can read them by yourself. It should be noted that mob kills are the only achievements that are counted every time. All other achievements are earned only the first time you do them. With all of this in mind, we can begin the 404 challenge in about three, two, one.
All right, so here we are. I guess we're going to go ahead and get started here. I'm first going to find... All right, that's right there. That's where we're going to be digging down and actually entering the 404 cave. You have to keep in mind if I seem like I'm going slow, it's because in this version of Minecraft, sprinting did not exist yet. An interesting thing, uh, when I first got Minecraft, sprinting already did exist. I got Minecraft in beta of 1.8, so about September of 2011. Um, that, that was mostly because of hardware limitations. That's really what got me into PC gaming. I saw that Minecraft was like one of the coolest games around at the time, and that was really when it was first starting to get popular. And I wanted to be able to play it, but I couldn't because all of the computers in my house were awful. So I started learning a bit about what you need to be able to really play Minecraft. Turns out about four gigabytes of RAM was optimal, but for the first few years of owning Minecraft, I had to work with about one and a half. Playing Minecraft at 15 FPS at any given time was not very much fun, but once Optifine came around, my life became much, much easier. I am playing on hard mode, so we have the 1.5 times multiplier for any achievements we complete. Uh, I know we have to go a little bit farther away than I would like from the 404 cave right here at the beginning, but I think that's going to be okay. We'll have plenty of time to make it back. I should probably make an axe pretty soon here. So this is a bit different from the Let's Plays that I've done in the past, because my goal isn't to make a series out of this. I'm just going to play as much as I can for maybe 30-ish minutes in this video. Oh look, old gravel, that's incredible. Ooh, shift clicking existed, but not in the form that we're used to. That's interesting. So, I know it said no strip mining, and that's not what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to get some stone. So, I think we should be in the clear as far as the rules go. The rules didn't say anything specifically about just mining some stone. But, if that's against the rules, I apologize. Let's see. We've gotten five stones so far. We're going to want a bit of extra items, just so that once we get into the cave, we can prevent ourselves from getting murdered by anything too quickly. So, I'd like to get a sword going and an axe. At this point in time, it was still fastest to use a sword on a crafting table to pick it up, which is kind of odd, I imagine, for a lot of newer players. In fact, it was odd to current players even back then. Certain things, you would just use a sword to mine, and it made absolutely no sense. Hello, Mr. Pig. I just tried to critical hit that pig, but that's not how this worked. So, we're going to want to keep moving. Hopefully find some more desert so that we can unlock that cactus achievement. Also, it's just good to have cactus. I'm going to want to break this uh, grass on our way here. Also, I'll head back to maybe try and get some of the... Uh, maybe try and get some of the saplings from the de decaying trees we have over there. Sugarcane isn't that useful compared to other things. I don't want to head too far away. Let's see, is there anything else worthwhile for me to gather? I'm going to gather some wool because it's just always good to have, and also some feathers, because why not? So, interestingly enough, I think at some point I did get to try the 404 challenge. No, I never got to try the 404 challenge. Oh, that this is when they added shears and you had to kill sheep. Ugh. What a drag. But at some point, I did play earlier than 1.8 before I got the game because they had the PC Gamer demo that I think was along with an article about Minecraft. And that was Minecraft 1.4 that I got to play. They had a ton of different Easter eggs and such in that, so I really appreciated playing it. I played that for hours. Ooh, pumpkins! 
that's going to be so incredibly useful. Uh, because you can't use torches, like I stated a few minutes ago. So we're going to want to grab those pumpkins. Oh, thank you. We'll have light as soon as we go into the cave now. Reusable light, and that's going to be very, very nice. I gathered those seeds and these saplings, because once we're in the cave, we're going to need some way to get wood and food. So I figure having a wheat farm is probably going to be one of the smartest decisions. Looks like there's a bunch of pumpkins up there. It's about midday right now, so uh, we don't even have to worry too much about getting back yet. But I am going to take down some more trees over here. Hey, we got some pleasant Minecraft music. I love the music in this game. The amount of nostalgia that it brings back is just massive. I probably have the most hours in Minecraft out of any game that I've ever played in my entire life. It's it's hard to explain just how deep of uh deep of a meaning that this game has to me compared to anything else I've played. Because it's been present through most of my life since becoming more self-aware. Like, you know, you're self-aware when you're a kid, like eight, nine years old, but uh, once you become a teenager, that it goes up a notch. And it's really incredible to notice. And Minecraft has sort of grown with me in a way, and that's why a lot of times I'll end up defending Minecraft when people say it's, it's changed, it's worse. That's a lot of times because people are holding on to nostalgia. But I enjoy nostalgia, yeah. I mean, I had so many experiences with Minecraft before I even bought it, just through YouTubers. And that's actually what made me want to get into YouTube, like many other people. But it's, it's good to be able to move on and grow with something instead of being left stagnant. Alright, I don't want to take any damage, because damage is dangerous. The first few Minecrafters who really inspired me to make videos were Lucklin, MCWB. He was he was just great. And I think I don't think he still makes YouTube videos, or if he does, it's very occasional. You didn't drop any leather, man. What the heck? Uh, also, X's Adventures in Minecraft. He was the second or third person to make any Minecraft videos that I'm aware of. And the way that he did it was just... It was artful. I loved it. Alright, let's look around here. Oh yes, you can crouch in this version. I'm sort of getting used to what things did exist and what things didn't. Because I'm not entirely sure. There's really not much reason for me to collect any wool. Because wool, uh, I, I won't need a bed since I'll be underground. The sun is going to be setting kind of soonish. Now, what am I missing to go underground? I have plenty of wood. I don't have, like, any cobblestone on me, but that's okay. I do have some pork chops that I can eat. Did things have... Yeah, things had tooltips in this version. I'm not sure when they added the tooltips in Minecraft, but it was very nice when they did, because people just sort of came up with their own names for the items before that. Like, I remember in X's Adventures in Minecraft, he just ended up calling Iron Ingots Steel and, and stuff like that, but... They did all have names. Alright, so there's tons of pigs around here. Oh yeah, I got the uh, 32... What is it? 32 cacti? That's four points for me. Alright. And back in this version, chickens had a very weird hitbox. It was like right at their feet. Now, I think I'm going to be ready to enter the cave quite soon here, because there's not a lot else for me to obtain on the surface that I care too much about. Oh, 
yeah, it's it's turning night really fast now. So I want to get to whatever the best area is here for me to head down. I'm going to go ahead and make some torches. I know you can't use those, but I'm going to make those into jack-o'-lanterns. So it's turning night. I'm being kind of careful here because I don't want to take fall damage. There we go. Right here. And we want to ride this waterfall down. All right. First, we're seeing a creeper. Yeah, we have to go all the way down into the cave, I'm aware. I'm just wanting to be a little bit careful. Ah! No, sir. Oh, yeah, you used to have to place these uh, jack-o'-lanterns on top of blocks. All right. All right, there's a lot of mobs in here. And I know that we have to go all the way down to the bottom. We're very close here. So I think what I'm going to do is just dig down from this middle point to avoid getting into too much trouble and then hopefully slowly kill off the monsters that are around here and start to light up our area. I want to be sort of technical with how I do this. Now I'm wanting to do this in of course a difficult kind of way but I also don't want to die. So I think it's Logical to be a little bit careful. Ooh, the old lava texture. Speaking of textures, uh, recently in Minecraft they've been updating the older textures, and I am not a fan. I don't really see much reason for it in the first place. In reality, they've had these textures around for over eight years now, and just now they're trying to change them. Ooh, there's redstone right there. Nice. All right. I really need to make a place where I can safely kill these monsters. A lot of them are spawning because of when I entered the cave. Uh, it wasn't quite completely night yet, so the spawn rates were ultra high down here. I apologize if it's a bit dark. Uh, Minecraft used to have issues with that back in the day. Back in my day, Minecraft used to have issues with lighting. Hello. Alright, I should be safe here. Hello. Oh, holy crap, that is quite a few. Oops. Come this way. Alright, so since I've collected a bit of blocks here, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is make a furnace real quick so that I can actually defend myself against the monsters. Uh, I want to use my colt, I mean my wooden planks, I think. Well, I don't think it really matters too much, but... And cooked pork chops used to have the texture of uh, steak. I'm sorry if I get a little bit scatterbrained while I'm going over all this stuff, but it's just hard to focus on like 17 things at once. All right, let's see. 
I seem to have spent all my dirt. All right. That's cool. Nice. Well, he's dead. Oops. Howdy. Good. Good. Alright. Another one bites the dust. Alright. Now I need to sort of mine out an area so that we can really get started. I don't want to get deaded too fast here. So I sort of have to watch my back while I dig anything. Having the jack-o'-lanterns here is going to improve my chances of survival massively. Now, we want to survive and thrive just like it said in the quote-unquote manual. Oh, crap. <laughs> my dude, that, that was quite, quite vexing. I did not want anything bad to happen there. All right, here. Let me mine my jack-o'-lantern, and I'm going to move on from this area of the cave until a creeper comes up that passageway. I'm trying to survive for at least a little while. Oh my gosh, I didn't remember furnaces taking 5,000 years to mine. But I guess that was a thing. Well, may as well. All right, it looks like a lot of the monsters are flowing down there, so I don't have to deal with them anymore. That is quite good for me, not as good for them. If I can find some iron pretty soon to make a bucket, that would be very useful. Um, getting enough blocks to continue on very efficiently is going to be a little bit of a pain but I want to make sure that I close off some of these entrances that the mobs have to me. It's good to keep in mind that this stone axe that I have is uh, about the level of a wooden sword in terms of strength. Now, you get more points if you never make armor in here, and I was, I was thinking, yeah, I definitely want to go for that. But as time moves on, all right, I definitely want to cut off this area of the cave for sure. So I'm going to use some of this handy dandy wood that I have to do so. All right. So now at this juncture, we should be safe and we have a little bit of ore to mine. Finally, a tiny bit of iron ore. So. From up here, I can see the rest of our area pretty well. So, I'm going to go ahead and make... I'm going to make the rest of my pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns. That's going to be pretty important to our <laughs> continued survival. Uh, I guess I should throw away this last torch... Oh, you couldn't just queue things out of your inventory in this version. Interesting. I'm learning more and more. And by learning, I mean remembering. Uh, I told you I watched... I watched X's Adventures in Minecraft. I also watched some modded videos, but not a ton. I watched X's Adventures in Minecraft. Yeah, that's not a modded video. Don't know why I mentioned that one. I watched Wolf21's Guinea Pig Power, which featured the mod Mo Creeps and Weirdos. Or More Creeps and Weirdos. I can't remember which one it was. Might have been Mo. 
Uh, I think they even updated that mod to some of the newer versions of the game. But uh, that, that series was just incredible. I remember I used to check back daily to see if he had uploaded another one. And if he hadn't, I would be sad. Alright. I think that most of the mobs around here are going to be in that cave down there. So, like, right down at the bottom of the waterfall. And I think this counts as the bottom enough, even though technically it's not the lowest part. I'm mining this coal mostly for the purpose of smelting things, since, as you know, we can't... Okay. Seems that we're getting pretty safe. Uh, as you know, we can't really... We can't make torches. That's it. It's just I have so many things flowing through my head right now that it's hard to get out full sentences without pausing to take a break and think. In hard mode, you take a lot of damage, especially without armor on. But I figure if I'm going to do the 404 challenge, I'm going to do the 404 challenge. All right, we should go up here to our little temporary base. Now, one of the other things is don't make it so that your base... Never make a shelter that mobs can't get into. I'm not sure if I've already broken that rule. I probably have. But that's okay. All right. Iron ore. I guess I could just toss away that 15 points. But this shelter right here is not one that mobs cannot get into, just one that is hard for mobs to get into. I think also I'm probably going to make some armor, because I was planning on not doing it, even up until a few seconds ago, but... Yeet. Yeet. Get you out. Even until, up a, until a few seconds ago. But I figure I might want to do that. Ah! Okay. That was about to be the end of this video. <laughs> oh gosh, that was terrifying. There goes my train of thought for the fifth time. Oh jeez. That was... That made me uncomfortable. Alright, so I just wanted to mark off this section of the cave so that nothing bad could get to us. I think I've lit up the most used portions of my cave now. Let's go for some more wood, and then I might try to... I might try to do some more creative stuff. And by creative stuff, like, get a tree farm going, maybe get a farm farm going. Once I can actually light up my area, it's going to be easier to deal with. Oh, thank you, music. Thank you. Okay, well, that's my first bit of damage. <laughs> that would have been an interesting thing for, uh, an interesting goal for them to have had. Don't take damage, and you just get more points the longer you don't take damage, or you get a ton of points for just not taking damage ever. I think, objectively, I'm doing pretty good here. Of course, that'll all end as soon as a creeper comes anywhere near me, but... Okay, no. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to nope the spiders out of existence. Thank you, Minecraft music. You're very calming, but I think you might be a little bit loud for YouTube. Ah! No. Bad! <laughs> Burn in the fires of hell! <laughs> Alright, here. Music. I do enjoy you, just not as loud. One, two. Got that going. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once I do this, there is no going back. Uh, uh, let's see, it's... How much do I... Okay, I hear noises. T I, I hear noises. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My chronic scarcity got to me. Alright, let's see. I need a new sword and a new pick, so I'm going to make a new pick real quick. I used to be afraid of using, like, my iron and stuff. Like, I didn't want to in case I'd ever need it for some reason. But it's like, I did need it, but I didn't use it for some reason. There's a lot of things with Minecraft that just used to be the case. Like, I used to play, I think, primarily on Peaceful. It was easy for me to enjoy because uh, games easily stressed me out at the time. Like if I played Monster Hunter, uh, that that was a tough one for me to get used to. All right. Well, I ventured into this part of the cave slightly. Alright, I need to find some water source block. Oh crap. I don't know where I can find a water source block around here though. I do have my iron pick now, so I can mine gold or whatever if I need it. I'm gonna mine this lapis. I think... What, it, what was it? Lapis lazuli block, you get five. So I can make a lapis lazuli block right now and get some of them sweet points. Probably going to end off this episode, or this video, I guess, pretty soon here. I want to make some pants and a shovel. I'm not going to need this axe as desperately right now. Okay, thank you, universe, for having been lit up finally a little bit. Oh, crap. Okay, we're good. A nice thing about all this lava being around is monsters just walk into it. I think in the newer versions, their AI prevents them from doing that at least as much. Right. I do not like the the dangerous walking sounds. What's so dangerous about walking sounds? Everything. They're loud, unsightly, and means that there's a monster trying to murder me. Be gone. I'm trying to get to this water source block if it's not apparent. Okay, well. Alright, so far I'm staying pretty alive on a scale of 1 to 10. Alright, that's dangerous. The more your armor gets used in this version of the game, the weaker it becomes, which kind of makes sense, really. Alright. Hard mode, hard. Point taken. Not going to be able to get to that water source right now. But that's cool. And by cool, I mean okay, because it's not cool. Alright, I might make more videos of me doing this, because clearly we're not going to have time to get through the entire game in one sitting here. Alright, I need to grab one of those pumpkins that I have, because... I'm not sure where that skeleton is. 
I am enjoying this, but I'm probably not going to have enough time to finish this video. Well, I guess this is actually a good place to leave off. So, I don't want to leave off in just the traditional sense, the thanks a ton for watching everybody kind of thing. Because this is an important video. This is my four... Well, this is not my 404th video. That's what I was about to say, but I realize I could have taken that a different direction. This is my 404 subscriber special. And 404 isn't a particularly special number. Like, you would think I would stop at 400 and make a video about that first, but... Bringing this back to when I first started playing Minecraft brings me back to what first inspired me to make YouTube videos, which was the YouTube videos on Minecraft. I thought to myself when I... Every single video I watched from a Minecraft YouTuber, I thought to myself, that is what I want to do. And while that has really gone down in popularity in recent years, you don't have the big ol' giant Minecraft YouTubers unless they're already established anymore. And even the established ones are starting to change their formula to include more games because Minecraft is an old game now. It's been it's been out for about 8 years like I mentioned earlier. So it's not it might be a shame that it's gotten less popular, but Minecraft has had such an insane lifespan. So, I don't remember what my train of thought was. Basically, Minecraft has inspired me so much, and in recent years it's waned in popularity, but having the 404 subscribers, it was pointed out by my friend Jim Joe the other day, so shout out to him, hooray. Having the 404 subscribers really brought me back to the reason that I started making videos, and that was because not only of inspiration, but because of all of the positive influence that I've had from it. So I hope that I've been a somewhat positive influence on your lives if you've watched my videos. I know that I'm not a big YouTuber. 404 subscribers, that's a very comparatively small number. But when you count all of those as people, even if a lot of them are inactive, it's incredible. And I'm very, very humbled by the fact that anyone would be willing to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's an odd thought. Just someone who enjoyed watching you play a video game so much that they said to themselves, I want to keep watching this person play video games. And then you multiply that by 404. It's an incredible feeling, and I thank you all so, so much. This has been a very fun video to make, very nostalgic for me. Even though I've never really consistently played beta, aside from the 16 or so hours that I played the two-hour-long uh, demo. But this has been fun. If you would like me to play on this world more and progress to a massive underground empire in Minecraft 404, please leave a comment or like this video. Any sign of positivity will fuel my ego beyond imagination. Anyway, even though I said I wasn't going to end it this way, thanks a ton for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the past four years on YouTube, and I guess I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.